that surrounds us. Some of my earliest memories are my mother taking me to the Metropolitan Museum after school and just allowing my imagination to run wild with the art. My name is Alexandra Ginniger and I'm the studio manager for Wageshi Mutu Studio and I'm also an independent fine arts consultant. My duties as studio manager include a variety of tasks. First and foremost, I'm the point of contact for the studio. So anytime a museum is interested in exhibiting Wageshi's work or giving her a solo show, then generally they'll reach out to me via email and I basically present their proposal to Wageshi and liaise between the artist and the institution. The same goes for if anyone is interested in interviewing Wageshi or shooting her for a magazine, anything of the sort. Basically all requests go through me. I also run our weekly studio meetings that are staff-wide meetings and include interns as well to make sure that everyone who's in and out of the studio knows exactly what's happening with all of our projects. Whenever, for example, a curator would like to come to a studio visit with the artist, I make sure that the studio is presentable and that, you know, the crucial works are hung on the walls, that we're fully ready to show the curator any of what gets she's new work, any projects that she's been working on, etc. I also handle all social media for the studio, which is a very important form of outreach for an international artist who has shows in Germany, Australia, India, literally all over the globe. And of course, her entire fan base is not going to be able to actually attend all of these exhibitions worldwide. So it's a really good way to get in touch with her international admirers. When I'm not at my full-time studio manager job, I also work independently in the art world. So I make sure to attend as many gallery openings as I can to make sure that I'm in the know of the contemporary art world. And I've also begun writing reviews of these shows for Artsland, which is an online global database for contemporary art. I also go to different artists' studios to and make sure that I'm knowledgeable about any emerging artists and to have a fresh perspective of the direction in which contemporary art may be moving. A lot of these artists are also my friends, so I help them out where I can in terms of researching and writing different grant proposals or applying for residencies. I decided that art would be my profession because why not live a life surrounded by beautiful things? <laughs>